Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to make your own DIY drill paddle. The reason why I didn't buy one is because they're about $55 on Walmart and since I'm in the Philippines, it cost me about another $60 just to ship it here. So that's over $100 just for a drill paddle. So I decided to make my own really cheap. So anybody can do this. First I ordered a propeller. You get a propeller like this with all the hardware to mount it to a trolling motor and it cost me about, in, in US dollars, probably about $8. Comes with all the hardware to mount it. I use different hardware though to mount it to this all thread rod. So I got a piece of all thread and I cut it to about 52 inches. You can see close up inside, there's a pin inside of here. So I just drilled a hole through the all thread so I could insert the pin that comes with this uh, trolling motor propeller. I put it in there so it stays in there and I slide a wash washer over it. I've got a lock washer over that and then I spin this down to lock it. You can use the hardware that comes with it but I wanted this because this is going to be more secure for what I'm doing. Then on the other end I just have a nut, I have a locking washer and a washer. And this is a 3 8 inch all thread rod. It's threaded all the way down. And this is the cheapest thing that I can find to put in here without having to do any extra work. Then I took a piece of PVC. This is 25 millimeter PVC. I've got about 48 inches of it. I put a cap on the end of it here and a cap on the end of it here. This will make it so I can hold it when I spin the dr drill paddle. The drill's not going to chew up my hand, so this lets it slide. I'll show you that in a minute. So I just slide this through here. And of course, this makes it easy to come apart. I'm going to be in salt water all the time with this. So I want to be able to take it apart and clean it. So I left this so there's about three inches or so sticking out of the end of it. And then I'll stick a washer on that. Actually, I'll use two washers. Then I'll put a bolt. The washers make it so it just spins a lot easier. I won't thread it all the way down. I want to leave a little bit of play in it. So I've got about maybe a quarter inch play in there. I'll put a lock washer on it and another bolt. I'm just using bolts and a lock washer because there are no threaded or are no nylock nuts here in the area that I live in. So I'm going to have to order them online so I can have a nut that locks down and stays there. So I'll just tighten it up a little bit for demonstration purposes to show you what how it works. And then another thing I'm going to do is uh, maybe use a foam noodle like they did on the DI on, on the drill paddle. So maybe what I'm going to do is take a foam pool noodle and put a piece here on the end so that way when this is in the water it won't make it so it sinks so easily it'll be easier to hold it. Then I'll put another piece from here to here maybe the last two feet of it it'll make a good handle and if this ever comes off the drill and falls in the water that'll help it float. But for my test I'm going to do next week I just got some paracord and where the cap is I'm just going to tie paracord around it. So like I said, just for my test that I'm going to do later on the kayak, I'll have this paracord tied onto it so if this falls off of the drill, it'll fall in the water, but this will still be tied onto my kayak. I've got my new drill, DeWalt knockoff from China, but it works great. So check it out. So now it's on the drill. This is on high speed. And if I want to change it, it has a low speed too. This might be good if I'm just, uh, if I want to troll very slowly. There we go. So here it is on high speed. That's more than fast enough for me to stick it in the water and go. And that's it for now, guys. Once again, the DIY drill paddle. Wait for my next video next week. I'll be taking it out, uh, not on this kayak. I'll be taking it out of my inflatable kayak and using it and seeing how long these batteries last. Later I'll do a, uh, I'll do a review on this 
knockoff DeWalt drill that I got from Lazada, really cheap. And I'll also, later on, I'll be showing you my saline kit. This is a saline mount that I made for my inflatable ET Week 3, two to three person kayak. So I'll be showing that in videos coming up soon and how it's gonna work with a sail, something like you can see here. For those of you guys that wanna get an idea on how much it costs to make one of these, I bought this propeller on Lazada. I'm here in the Philippines, so I can't just go into a marine store and pick something up. So I bought this on Lazada for the equivalent of about eight US dollars. Comes with all the hardware to mount it onto a trolling motor, although I only needed the pin so I can drill a hole through the all thread and mount it so it stays locked in place. So about $8 for this. The all thread rod that I bought ran about $5. Uh, PVC for the whole piece, and I only used part of it. That was about another $3. And then the caps and the hardware, another few cents. So you're looking at about $15 all together to make your own drill paddle. That's it guys, check it out. Check out the video next week. I'll be showing you how it works in my inflatable ET-Wade 3 kayak. All right, have a great day.